This is lesson 4-1, number line inequality graphs. A review of the inequality signs. We went over them in chapter 1. But if you don't remember what they are, you may want to write these four signs down. So graphing inequalities on a number line, the first step is to draw a number line. When you're drawing the number line, no one says you have to start with zero in the middle. You can draw a number line to encompass any numbers that you want, provided that you're going up in the right direction and down in the left direction. Make a circle at the number indicated. If the number is included, make a closed circle. If the number is not included, make an open circle. Draw an arrow in the appropriate direction. The safe way to do that is to, use, is to test numbers on both sides of the given number to see which side works. The dangerous way is to change the inequality so the variable is always on the left and use the direction of the inequality sign. I would recommend the safe way because then there is no mistakes being made with changing sides of the inequality. Here's an example. n is less than or equal to negative 5. Negative 5 is included in this particular inequality because it's less than or equal to. So it's going to be a closed circle. Now you need to figure out which direction the arrow goes in. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to try the example. So we should be making a closed circle at negative 5 and drawing the arrow to the left because n is less than or equal to negative 5. Try this one. Negative 2 is greater than v. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to do the example. So we should have an open circle at negative 2. And again, we're going to the left because we need to test numbers. And negative 2 is greater than negative 3. It is not greater than negative 1. So the arrow should be going to the left. Let's try this example that is looking working backwards. Can you write the inequality that is shown here? We have an open circle, so it's non-inclusive of negative 1. And we're going down. So x, choose any variable you want, is less than negative 1. If you're having any issues with this particular lesson, please consult your teacher.